new interface here. Uh, as before, we're uh, capturing all your computer time. So uh, we are uh, supporting Mac as well. So we do Mac. Uh, just to uh, recap, uh, Mac PC, we've got time trackers for, and then, uh, of course, Android and iPhone as well, which I'll speak to in a minute. So uh, this is time capture for my Mac today. So uh, same as you're familiar with before, we break it down by application and then within that application. So, for example, I've got uh, Microsoft Word entry here. This is the title of the Word document I was working on. Uh, these are, uh, this is the total amount of time I spent there. And then we've got a breakdown here. So what I did is I hit the mouse over on the, on the uh, timeline, a uh, little, little pop up there. And this breaks down the individual entry. So how long I spent specifically um, working on this. So that's what we're doing. Uh, let me get back to my time today here. Uh, that's what we're doing. So for email, uh, we are grabbing the to, from, and the subject line. So for example, uh, actually this is a domain I just bought today. So this is was the email exchange. Um, I, I use Gmail, but if you're uh, an Outlook user, both on Windows and Mac, or a Mac mail user, we have advanced uh, email time capture support as well, where we're going to capture the subject line of that email, and then the to uh, and the from. So this is uh, the guy I was emailing with, so I got his info here, and this is the amount of time I spent um, in the email. So what I can do then is take advantage of our um, move to project drop down where I can either um, assign it to a project or create a rule to do that. So this is a, another little recent nuance that we've got. Uh, a couple quick mouse overs that let you create your timesheet faster. So first we've got a little and annotate button. What this does is let you annotate your time entry as you're categorizing it. So what I'm going to do here is uh, say I want to categorize this entry and then add an annotation um, to it, this is what's going to then go to my timesheet. And if you're uh, using Chrometa in tandem with a third party application, this is what's going to get exported over there. So I can either do uh, assign them one at a time, or I can also create a rule. So that's gonna our second little shortcut here. Uh, what this does is lets you create a rule so that anytime I see this keyword, for example, um, I can tell Chrometa I want to always move it to a certain uh, project. So I can also apply this to the past 90 days if you want to bucket your time as you go. And then another new feature, we let you preview a rule too. So if you want to see what you're going to be grabbing for example this is a little preview kind of works like um, gmail or outlook when you're doing a little rules preview uh, that's what we got going here we're, we're looking at the time um, that you would be categorizing couple other quick ways to do previews while we're talking about it we have a little active search window at the top here we can search through your unbuilt time so for example i can do the same active search across all of our entries and that will pull up uh, pull up my totals here that contain these. I also uh, had a question from one of our users about doing a search on the timeline view. So let's hop over to the timeline view now. So our timeline now um, is over below our summary. So our navigation just moved over to the left, um, but now you can see everything on your left side. So uh, you got everything right there in front of you. If you want to do a search from our timeline view, then what we can do is we can search for time entries uh, just using this search box here. And then again, same thing, we're going to filter our entries. Uh, now, one uh, quick trick for you is you can select a bunch of entries at once, hold down your shift key while you left click your mouse and that will select everything in one fell swoop. Uh, this is something that I often show people if you're interested in categorizing time entries directly from your timeline. So for example, uh, I start working, uh, started working 8.38 this morning. Let's just say everything I did between 8.38 and nine o'clock, um, I'm jumping around a bunch, but let's just say it was all the same thing. What I can then do is just hold down the shift key or select an entire hour block. Um, but if I hold down the shift key or select that entire block, what it's going to do is select everything uh, consecutive there in between. And then I can also move it to a project and give it the same annotation. Now, what that's going to do for us is then implicitly combine everything so that back on our summary screen uh, under our timesheet we've got a nice little time entry what it did is it rounded up to the six minute uh, increment which is what I've got, I've got to set at but you can set it uh, wherever you would like but it rounded it up to the six and uh, so it's a clean 30 minute uh, entry here what I can now do with this entry is send it over to our third party billing system so for example if I want to send it over to Clio I can just kick it over this way uh, it will show up in Clio as if it was a time entry created directly in Clio so that's how um, generally our integrations are going to work. 
to give you a look at our current breakdown. This is what uh, uh, we've got that's new. So Clio, you guys know, but we do have some new stuff with Lexus on Time Matters and then uh, Juris and PC Law um, rolling out soon. A new integration with FreshBooks, new integration with QuickBooks Online. So again, we're just pushing all our uh, um, these time entries out there. Uh, let's talk mobile while we're in here. So I can give you a quick update on mobile. Uh, I had, uh, where'd my mobile time for today go? Okay. So here are my, uh, Android entries for today. So we support Android and iPhone. So on Android, we will do text messages and phone calls. Uh, on iPhone, we will only do phone calls um, if, if you're on, uh, we support Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. So reason being, uh, Apple doesn't let you access the call log. So uh, Android does. So that's uh, reason for those support. With In Apple's case, we go direct through the carrier. That's actually how we get your phone calls in. Uh, these are my text messages today uh, on uh, my Android phone. What I can do, uh, exactly same thing, is I can uh, categorize these then as time entries, um, annotate them, and then it's going to be uh, uh, going to be the same deal there. Uh, with Android, it syncs up with your Google Contacts as well. For mobile email, uh, back to our integrations page, we do have um, support for Gmail, and this is for iPhone users as well. So if you're on uh, Gmail, you do Gmail on your uh, mobile phone, whether it's iPhone or Android, and you want uh, to capture that time, you can connect up. Uh, our, your Chrometa account with your Gmail account. So you just hit connect with Gmail down here. This will walk you through the steps to connect it up. And then you're going to have the same thing you have on the desktop where you'll be able to see um, all of your Gmail entries listed uh, here as well. So that's a way to get mobile uh, time while you are on the move. Uh, let's see what other shortcuts did I have for you. I got a couple minutes left here. So our rules... Um, I showed you earlier, but just to reiterate rules because they are uh, useful and powerful. These are ways that you can get your time auto bucketed down um, to your timesheet. So again, for example, if I want to put in the last name of a client or you want to put in a matter number or you want to put in somebody's domain, um, you can put this in here. Uh, say where you always want it to uh, what, what client matter bucket uh, project you always want it bucketed over to and then you can also preview the rule so uh, take a look at the entries before you apply the rule and you can also apply it going back three months if you would like to do that so what that'll do is uh, run over your previous time and auto bucket everything in there a uh, new feature on the timeline I want to show you. This was a good suggestion from one of our users to highlight uncategorized time. So if I uh, spin down here, uh, actually I'll click my unca highlight uncategorized button. So what this is going to do is, is highlight our uncategorized time entries for you. Uh, this was a suggestion from Tom Houlihan. It was actually our top rated suggestion in here. So uh, thanks to Tom for that. Uh, and I have been mentioning this to folks, but if you have things you would like to see, feature suggestions, what I encourage people to do uh, is come to our feature request forum. And as you can see here, this is where we're, we are pulling uh, a lot of our ideas from. So the top voted, uh, you can suggest a feature, you can vote up a feature. Uh, you can see the top voted ones are the ones that uh, many of which we've, we've implemented in here. Um, so uh, these, you know, very helpful for us in terms of prioritizing stuff. So we're almost to the 11 minute mark. So I will let people go if you got to go. Uh, uh, Otherwise, uh, we'll get into questions now. So this is, and then our uh, download page, if you need any of our time trackers, those are going to be available here as well. Um, so let me pop open for questions. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead. Um, can I estimate the time a project will take using Chrometa and then capture the actual time? Sure. So we're going to capture the actual time. Um, as you uh, work throughout the duration of a project, and then that's going to be reflected in the uh, summary screen. Let me get back to the summary here. So this is my time for the day. Uh, I've got it broken up into my unbuilt time, but this would be the time for a project here um, underneath the timesheet. I can pull up my time for an entire week under the timesheet. I can also pull up my time for the entire month if you would like, so you're able to see um, for example, how much time you're spending as you go. So we still have the original breakdown uh, here in terms of the original uh, stuff, uh, activity, what you were doing, but then it all rolls up here for you as well. 
Okay, question of sound was gone, but back. So hopefully uh, time is, uh, hopefully it sounds back here. So let me know if there's anything that you want to see uh, from the quiet period. Um, no, it's setting up time Friday morning. Definitely we'll do that. Thank you for the uh, comment there. We'll definitely make sure to hit you up there. Uh, any other questions for anyone? Otherwise, I'll give you a few other uh, seconds here. But what, what we can do is I'll show you how to get additional support. For anything you got uh, concerning the webinar today, that'll go back to me. So anything you got, uh, want to circle back one-on-one -on -one and get back to me there. Uh, here's our phone number, email address, live chat uh, on the website in the lower right um, within Chrometa itself in the lower right as well. So live chat support available six days a week. So Sunday through Friday, uh, same with phone and email. So if you've got anything else, let us know. Um, otherwise, uh, any questions you want to circle back one-on-one -on -one, uh, with, let me know also. But thanks again for joining. Um, I will get a recording out uh, to everyone who attended, so you'll have that for reference. But again, uh, thanks again. Please keep us posted and hope to hear from you soon.